Hello, Pisces. It is time for your reading for December. This current year. Also, I will be doing a December to January reading. Feels like some of you are dealing with someone who's really immature. Quite the fibber, right? I'll be doing a 2019 year reading at the end of this year. That'll be the next major video coming out. So stick around for that, you guys, because I'll be doing the whole 12 months for y'all. I just need to make the spread. And you know how I am about procrastination. Very, very horrible about it. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. No whammies. All right, Pisces, let's see what's here for you. Oh, coming for the truth, are you? Yeah, you are. The Emperor! Look at that! He's the first of the Zodiac! You can't! Anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, wow! Look at all of yours! You have quite a few things. Got a wish fulfilled. I don't know why that would be against you, right? So you got this King of Swords who's coming for the truth, possibly from or is acting like a Queen of Wands. This one is a Libra Sagittarius Libra Aquarius Gemini. This could be a Sagittarius Leo or Aries woman. This could be someone who isn't even telling you they're coming for the truth, right? Pisces. They could be hiding that. That could be the lie behind them because usually the Queen of Wands reverse for me is like someone who's lying or omitting, well not intentionally lying, but omitting certain information. And it seems like with the King of Swords behind her, she is, she is not letting someone know she's hunting for the truth. She's doing like what police interrogators do. Just walking around with questions of somebody just to catch them up in a lie later on that they'll bring up. Like, you know, like mentioning little things that you think have nothing to do with it and causing someone's brain to think about it and be like, uh, I don't know. And without them realizing what the question was. I only remember this because my husband did it to me the other day. And it was just like, whoa, you're not allowed to watch anything please do ever again. It was really cute. Like, I think he enjoys playing the cat and mouse game with me though. It's really adorable. But yeah, there is definitely somebody here who's not being open about looking for a truth moment, whether it be like someone who's a fire sign, someone who's an air sign, or someone just emulating one or both of those. And it could be a Queen of Cups person. It could be you, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, who is truly honest about their feelings, giving abundantly. But there seems to be a third party situation right here. Like someone got in their feelings about Maybe one or more people, or they're in an open relationship, maybe, of sorts. That's the situation. Like, maybe somebody's giving too much of themselves. Or maybe somebody is, like, getting too far involved with all of this, right? And here, someone's letting the burdens carry them. Like, they're... Like, the burden should be over with, but they're not letting it go. And they're being kind of manipulative with, with the Queen of Cups reversed, right? Like, someone down here is over-partying because that's what they really like to do. And then this person's acting like, you know, oh, well, I do this or I do that. And this is what I got to do in order to do that. So I deserve to have some fun, I feel like. Which has nothing to do with anything. It is actually just a bullshit tactic to get away. We keep doing this, right? And if someone is getting their wish in this. But it's going against them and making them really arrogant and thinking that they can get away with it. Like, if someone's using this as an excuse in order to keep doing this because that's what they really love to do, you don't need them in your life, you know? Like, that's kind of dark. That's like someone who isn't honest. And now someone's got to be creeping to find out the information. Like, they got to keep their mouth shut while investigating to find out the truth with the King of Swords. Because that's really fucking dark. <laughs> like, that is somebody who is um, desperate to find out the truth about this situation and this because someone's been giving it away. Like, someone has been so 
arrogant. This could be an Aquarius too, but someone's been so arrogant and so selfish, I feel like, with getting their wish that they're giving themselves away. Like their attitude right here is like giving themselves away. That they're being manipulative when they're saying that they do this, they do that. No, it doesn't matter what they do. Um, that's no excuse to over party. And like, it, like is someone giving too much to this party in life? Like, there's no finances, but it's definitely some emotion right here. It might have caused an affair to happen, and now someone is like, yeah. I mean, that can be possible. Someone might be having an affair and like using the excuse that they're working to justify why they're always out. And their attitude about it with the star reverse is giving it away. That they're getting their wish. Which is just like... Mmm, <laughs> gotta be careful. And now they're... Uh, someone is afraid that... That's too many. Ah, that's still too many. Okay. Now someone's afraid that they are out of patience with temperance reversed. Could also be a Sagittarius. Just like over here. They're afraid someone's gonna lose their patience. Someone's not gonna be willing to compromise. Oh my goodness, bunch fell. Okay, but you guys were the first two. And they're afraid that person is going to compromise and probably not talk. And they're afraid of, of what might go on with their home. Ooh. And there is no movement in this with the eight of wands reverse. Let me look at this really quick, Pisces. So, like, someone is definitely worried that someone's going to lose their patience. And it could be this Queen of Wands over here, because I feel like they might even be the same person. Because I like saying the Queen of Wands is Sagittarius. Because because of my rising sign, that's the card I associate with myself, personally. So that's why I feel like Sagittarius energy. Very upfront, very real, very wise, looking very knowledgeable. She has a cat. That's a plus for me, because I have cats. And hers is black, just like mine. So... There we go. Sagittarius. Right there, right? Because I love kitties. But, like, over here is Sagittarius's actual card, Temperance. And it's reversed. Both of these cards are reversed. And I feel like someone might lose their patience. And there could be a lot of information getting gathered behind the scenes that they aren't speaking about either. Just like with the King of Swords, who's looking for information and truth in all of this. Who's coming for the truth about all of this giving away of these cups. Right? Like, if someone's really worried about how it's going to damage the home. Like, there is no movement with this emperor. Like, there's a lack of anything. Lack of energy, lack of charge, lack of doing whatever when it comes to this emperor up here. Who's supposed to be in control. Who's supposed to, uh, be the one who, um... You know, he's supposed to adapt. He's supposed to control. He's supposed to rule diligently. But there's nothing happening with him down here. If that makes sense. Like, nothing's going on with him. And because of that, like, because someone isn't taking any real control, like, nothing's going on. And if someone's picking that up. Because there's a fear over here of someone not speaking about maybe some information and why they're leaving. You know, because this knight is running away to the future. And here's the emperor right here. Who's also looking to the future, right? The queen over here is looking to the future. Like, she's looking to the future as this dude's running away. The queen's looking at the present with the king of swords. And she's looking at the past, you know? And who else is looking at the past? This bitch down yonder who's celebrating like a fucking fish right here. This person, their wish came true in the past as they're looking this way. But now it shows they're being arrogant towards the future. And in the future, they're very insecure about their homes to the point where it's haunting their dreams. This is as far as it goes. In or this is as far as it'll ever go when it comes to this control. Three advice cards, please, and then we are done. God, that's some heavy energy, right? Like, someone's definitely snooping. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if, if, if someone's snooping on you, but yeah. Yeah, someone's dealing with some emotional confusion about what they want. 
Like someone doesn't know what they want, but there are snakes and serpents in those cups as much as there is ice cream and glowing like doll rag thingies. And someone needs to come to a decision about like all of this bad juju in the center, right? Like someone needs to decide what they're gonna do. Like, are you gonna keep how pretending to like do something, or like are you actually gonna come out and be honest? Like someone needs to make a decision in all of that because someone doesn't know what they want. And I feel like it's a little selfish, too, you know? Like, you want to want done to you, if that's the case. And, yeah, someone's going to come back and cut some people the fuck up. <laughs> like, this is already leaving, but now someone's coming back to cut some heads off just in case that decision isn't made. Mm, mm-mm. And the Emperor's got his head turned to all of it. Oh, that is a damn shame. <laughs> he isn't even looking at what's going on here. He's not even paying attention to what's going on here. He doesn't want to see it. That's why there's nothing happening. You know, he's so busy ignoring everything that like, he, there's no movement in his power. You know, like none. There's nothing happening with him and this movement right here. All this shit's happening and he's just straight up ignoring it. Because it's easier because it doesn't involve him, I guess. Or he feels like it's below him to get in such petty drama or some shit like that. I don't know, like, but he was probably the one that started to begin with, so oh well. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that's what I got for you, Pisces. I hope this helps you out, and you have a good holiday, and I'll see you in the next video for the New Year's. Have a good Christmas.